Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I asked the reporting, is the richest terrorist group in history? Tens of billions of dollars. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, you name it, funding them. Western allies would not be doing that if it wasn't part of a larger plan. And again, some of these terror attacks, because IS 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 real terrorist group. They're just being turned loose like piranhas in, in your pool. I agree. I'm, I'm not there, but I've seen the preparations. I've talked to military sources I've got, and they say, no, we've heard all the fake terror alerts. And those same sources have told me when they're fake. They're saying by this September 11th, they are expecting terror attacks in Europe, the UK, and the United States. Now, that may not happen. But the word is we're basically standing down for something because it can all be a diversion from what's happening in Russia. So that really clicks what John in the UK was saying. Please continue, John. Yeah, thank you. Um, what I, I was trying to explain what I meant when I said that uh, I think that a terrorist attack here could function as a diversion um, to disguise uh, the real agenda. Um, see, what, I, what I'm concerned will happen is that if there is a terrorist attack here, and I would remind you that uh, Riyadh Khan is from Cardiff, and there are known cells that function uh, from Cardiff, um, if there is a terrorist attack here, that will be an ideal pretext for the government to say, oh dear, look, we need to, to be very careful about the flow of funds. Uh, we need to implement much more stringent measures with respect to um, movement of funds within the country. Now, I think you, you're, you're aware that we owe something like 500% of our GDP here in the UK at the moment. And when you factor in our obligations, our future obligations in terms of social security and pensions, it's something like 900%, uh, which is pretty much what it was, um, you know, when they were decorating their walls with, um, you know, banknotes uh, in, uh, in Germany yes. uh, in the 1940s. Now, um, I... Just, just to give you a little bit of background without wasting your time, um, I work abroad. I'm only currently in the UK. I've got, I've got a flat here uh, in the Bay, which is one of the five locations locally that they're hosting these meetings with these 60 world leaders. Um, and I, I work abroad. Uh, I have a number of um, foreign businesses. And uh, within the last year, or let, let me say 18 months, I've had two of my accounts frozen. And it's not just... Um, Lagarde, uh, you know, uh, what, what's her name? I am yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's also your people. Um, they're, they're, you may have an account. You're operating a legitimate business, trying to fund your workers, just doing normal everyday stuff, nothing exciting. Um, and then you get an accusation from the Treasury that your bank may be supporting Hezbollah or something. And when meanwhile may, the government they, is protecting them, supporting them, letting them back in, they use the threat in general. Yes. All over the Western world, they're now training us for internal currency controls, capital controls, getting us ready for bail-ins, training us that our money isn't our money. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've read the report Taxing Times on the IMF website uh, sometime in the middle of last year. No, I haven't. But where... Okay, well, Christine Lagarde was um, advocating the idea that um, they should just siphon off 10%. Oh, um, yes, I, I, I did see the derivative news articles off that report. Yes, I did see that. Okay, but I personally, I think when you look at it, when you look at, say, the UK debt, and the UK is a very significant economy within the context of what's going on in the European Union at the moment, if there's an increase in interest rates, 10% is not going to be anything like um, uh, ambitious enough for Lagarde and people working with her. So I think they actually need some kind of a crisis which is going to be able to justify... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, stay there. I'm going to come back to you. You can pull up the article from last year. They want a Marshall Plan around a military conflict that's large enough to take the bankruptcy of Europe and the EU 
into a global super state and the detonator is Ukraine, which is what you're saying. They want to line it up for Russia. I want to get your final take on that, John. We're going into more overdrive. Danny and then um, Jack and John and film from Nova Scotia and we're done. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits? No. No. And no, no. For a limited time, you can try No No Pro risk free. You'll also get the facial kit and a travel case. Get weeks of long lasting results. That's it. I'm getting a no no. Great minds do think alike. <laughs> <laughs> try No No Pro risk free by calling 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. That's 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Fix Bayonets. We are now entering overdrive with your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting live from the front lines. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. As threat of nuclear war grows, public attention turns to Justin Bieber. Public's preoccupation with Bieber's personal live highlights decline of Western society. Yeah, it's, it's one of the top search terms instead of um, nuclear war, stuff like that. We're finishing up with John in the UK, a very interesting caller. So he's a multinational businessman getting his, uh, his um, the bank accounts, paying employees messed with constantly by the UK and the US. What's happening is medium-sized and small-time international business people are being harassed. Everything's being shut down. You're not allowed to legally take some money and put it in the Bahamas or put it in Switzerland. Uh, that's after tax. They come and steal that from you. They just upped it sevenfold, I think, or is it sixfold? I saw the headline Sunday. The, the cost to get rid of your U.S. citizenship. Uh, when I was flying out to Las Vegas a few years ago to be interviewed by Jesse Ventura for his TV show, I saw them ripping through some guy's deal, and he had six silver coins. And they were like, what are these? And he was a computer programmer. Turned out he'd flown on the same flight with me to Vegas. He was a listener. He goes, oh, Alex Jones, I'll, I'll tell you when I'm done. So he comes over and talks to me. And I, I did an interview, put it out. And uh, they 
they were trying to take his five silver coins that he just took with him. And he was going to go do some computer business for three days. But while he was there, he was going to go to a coin convention and just see what he could sell the coins for. They weren't worth that much. They weren't even really collectibles. But he just thought it was crazy. They almost took them. That's what this is all about. You can get into the country. They just don't want you to get out. That's what Ron Paul said about seven years ago. This border fence isn't for the illegals. It's for us. And uh, that's really what it is. So uh, finish up your point there, John, in the UK. NATO meetings, you're there in Cardiff where this is all going on. And his lordship, his, his, his excellency, Barack Obama, will be arriving tomorrow. But, but Alex, um, please allow me to jump straight to the main reason for this call. And I'll be extremely brief. Um, I concluded a while ago that if we don't counterattack, if we don't do something about this, eventually we're going to get totally done over and we're going to lose the opportunity to act. Um, and so I started working on a project a couple of years ago. I should let you know that actually I've subscribed to your channel for 10 years. I've been a listener to you for 10 years. Wow, thanks for and, putting uh, up with me. No, 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 thank you very much indeed. In fact, a lot of your perspectives have actually informed my investment strategy. Um, uh, uh, but, but anyway, um, so very often people call into your show and they say, oh dear, Alex, look what just happened to me. People are stealing my children. You know, TSA is trying to kind of rape me in the open and all this kind of thing. Um, and you say to them, yeah, send us an email. Uh, there's not really much more you can do. And it occurred to me that the only way that we can actually um, kind of gain kind of tactical domination of the info war is if we have a central portal where everybody can contribute. Like a, a moment ago, you just had a guy called Blake calling in and he said, well, he, what he thinks we should do is, and yeah, I thoroughly respect his humility. He sounds like a great guy. But what he essentially was saying is that we've got to go and grovel to these disingenuous people and we, we've got to go and supplicate them to, uh, and hope that they're going to be willing to represent our concerns to the rest of the world. I've long thought we need to have our own central portal where we can all publish our own news articles. And so uh, using proceeds from some of my concerns, I've uh, created such a portal and I, I wanted to present it to you, um, you know, as, you know, like a junior warrior, which would, Oh, kind of come on. You're yeah. not, a, not a junior no, no, warrior. No, 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 I'm serious. I, I really am. Um, and th what this then means is that if, for example, you, you're badly treated at a checkpoint or something like that, you just get out your camera, take a, a YouTube video or whatever, log straight into the site and upload it with the location data as well. So it's like a so people's leaks. It's a news leaks where, where we're constantly leaking reality. Yes, exactly. And it's also um, kind of geolocated. So if there's trouble going down and somebody wants support or you see a story close to where you are, you can navigate there and you can go and help and you can capture. Sounds like a genius it. idea. Let me ask you this. What is the URL? Because my cousin Buckley was saying this guy sounds like an interesting fellow. You ought to find out who he is and have him on as a guest. Tell us, I mean, are, are, are you ready to tell folks about what you've created? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Um, the website is my reports. Dot com, but it's spelt with an I and a Z, as you Americans say. So that's like M I R E P O R T Z dot com. Well, very interesting, and and we'll check that out. Maybe get you on as a guest uh, because that's a great idea. I hope the site uh, uh, gets a lot of traffic so we can beta test it. But it's M I colon reports with a Z, and and what's the actual URL again? Yeah, just www dot M I R E P ortz.com. So you yeah, forget about the colon. That's a distraction. It's uh, based on um, uh, the, the, we've got a series, but we don't advertise anything else because um, you know I've got a kind of ongoing agenda to to work against the interests of large corporations because everywhere I go, you see small businesses going bust. They just can't compete. Sure, because the, the big corporations. corporations get the laws written worldwide to shut you down. It's not that we're against a Walmart because they're just Walmart and successful. It's that they literally run game all actuaried out to shut everything down. It, it, look, they're the ones financing not just Walmart, but Berkshire Hathaway, you name it, these moves to block lemonade stands and block farmers markets. They want you only coming to them. And it's suicidal to support these big chains and big operations. Uh, I really appreciate your call. And we'll check into that, John. Very interesting caller. Very exciting. People should go check that out. Give us your review of it. Uh, Danny in North Carolina, thanks for holding her on the air. 
Yo. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, Alex, I was calling you. I wasn't really wanting to talk about politics. Yes, sir. But I was 